In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the database Hoovers by Dun or Dun and Bradstreet is sometimes how it will get referenced. This database can be used for doing research for small companies that you are just beginning, for finding specific company information, or for doing industry research uh, or market research. As we go through this tutorial, I'm going to try to point out um, information that might be applicable for those different applications. To get started, um, this homepage may look a little different for you depending on what time uh, or what year you're entering the database because they do interchange this interface a little bit. Mostly the colors are going to look the same and the general outline or layout for the page will look very similar. Where I like to start is with the search box. You can drop down and look directly for a company um, or you could look for an industry. and if you're not sure what the industry is, I would recommend getting started with your research by doing a company that you'd like to model, or you know something about this company that you'd like to model. So for companies, um, I'm going to take a look for AutoZone for this example. And if you just hang out in the search box, I find that's helpful because you can get these recommendations. Here, it's pulling up five different companies um, that include AutoZone in their title. Uh, you can see how many employees there are, and you can also see their um, sales income for the year. In this case, I'm going to go for that top one, AutoZone in Memphis, Tennessee. If you're not sure you've hit the right company, you can always see if that logo matches, or you can scroll down and learn something about the business description. They often will include um, location, or they will include locations. So if you know something about where the headquarters is import, uh, located, you can narrow it down that way or check the website. This quick um, quick info section at the top is going to tell me the sales for the year, uh, 12.63 billion in this case, and um, it's going to tell me the industry. Below this is where I could also find other industry codes. So this motor vehicles and parts dealers is the um, database, the Hoover's Industries code. If I needed to use a NAICS code from or National American Industry Classification, I could find it over here. Same thing for the standard industry classification. Here's my SIC code. And it's slightly different. You know, these seem like they're very similarly named, um, but they are slightly different. And if you are doing industry research, the more specific you can be, uh, the better the results are going to be for you. Over on the left hand side, I can find out more information just about AutoZone. Here's my company description, um, company history. If I'm getting started with a company and I need to find more about the types of products that I would uh, want to be investing in or including in my services, I could go to products and operations. This is where I can start learning more about what a company does, especially if I'm going to be modeling anything. I can find contacts, um, I can find a corporate family. Corporate family is interesting because you can um, see how how big something is. Um, this can be helpful if you need to find how many brands are owned by a particular product. If you take um, Nestle, for example, they own a lot of different brands. Here it's telling me that the corporate family is made up of 6,000, um, over 6,000 uh, different companies and, or affiliates and it's giving me that list and some of these are expandable so that means there's um, more listed underneath it. The corporate overview is going to give me similar information um, and it's not necessarily those companies but it is those those codes those industry codes that I can go into. You could also find a strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities, opportunities and threats, or SWOT analysis. You can find whether and when it's been in the news. If you need to find um, stuff about companies where they may have had a product failure, um, and you're doing research on those failures or how it's been reported, news is a place to look for that. In the advanced section, I like this section a lot because you can start learning more about the competition. So each company that you look up should have um, competitors listed in um, Hoover's online. So you can come up with a list of who those top competitors are. And each of these is a link to take me 
to do an overview of that same company. What we're doing right now for AutoZone, we could do that for anybody off of the competitors list. You can also get industry peers, maybe their, their top competitors or the people that they're closest to or most similar to. Um, I can get the annual reports and I can find the um, Securities and Exchange Commission filings. So this is going to be what gets reported on an annual basis to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and those actual forms themselves. Sometimes more helpful than looking through these forms, though, is looking through the financial section. So if you need content for a 10K form or what they reported on a 10K form, you can find that through financials. This is where I get the financial health. That's going to be growth or shrinkage over time. This can be helpful for investing, um, or if you have to do research for investing, you can see growth over time, and you can also get it by quarters. Right now, we are um, looking at one year, three year, five year, but I think you can also get the last 10 years as well. Um, maybe for income reports. So ah, here we go. So we're looking at five years. Um, we can also bump that up to 10 years or look at just uh, three years at a time. This is where I'm going to start to find that accounting information about the company if that's what you need. All right, that's kind of an overview of what you would look for when you're doing a company analysis on just looking at companies and the types of content available through Hoover's online. Let's take a look at the search and build a list feature next. This could be helpful if you need to generate or find companies within a specific area. You could look at a city. Let's say Seattle is the city I want to look at, or you could look at a state. In this case, let's just try Washington. We could also add multiple states if we want to compare how many auto companies are in Washington compared to Idaho, um, because I'm looking at starting a new company and I want to see what my competition is for a specific area. I can add an industry. Now, this is where I would uh, recommend putting some attention when you start filtering uh, because it's going to help you give a more narrowed list or generate a more narrow list. In our case, let's look for auto. Automotive manufacturing um, is coming up and we could look at that one. We could look at um, tire sores. We've got some options for what we could do here. If you are looking for a company that's not coming up, let's say coffee shops, coffee and tea manufacturing is showing up in this case. Um, but if I'm not getting the results I want or it's not showing up, I can browse and take a look at what potential companies are out there and expand um, to see what the best fit would be for whatever industry I want to look at. We're going to take coffee out for now um, and go for auto. And let's go for um, automotive parts and accessories in this case. All right, I can add additional content or I can sort to that later. So these are all fields I could start filling in uh, and I could add more content. Let's view the results and see how big our list is at this point. But as you can see over on the left hand side, I have just Washington, but I could add an additional state if I don't like the results I'm getting. Um, and I have uh, just one NAICS code listed. I could add more or I could take this off and change it. This list of companies, while taking a while to load right now, um, is going to, when it does load, give me a list of links to other companies. And from there, I can jump out to um, their content pages and learn more. That is a quick overview of using Hoover's online and the types of information you can find.